Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin. The book of Boba Fett is starring Tara, uh, Tara Morrison. Sorry if I said that wrong, but this takes place a couple weeks of the set of, after the second season of Mandalorian, um, and basically this takes place on on uh, on Tatooine and um, and where, where uh, Boba just ta retakes over. Um, land of ja uh, Jabba's uh, and territory, and becomes the new, you know, leader of this realm uh, on Tatooine. Yeah, I, that's the best way I can describe this show. Um, but yeah, all eight, uh, all seven episodes are on Net Disney Plus now. Really, don't recommend this show. <laughs> that's all I can say <laughs> because this show was very disappointing. Um, Disney Plus recently has been sucking. Um, you know, we had Hawkeye. Terrible. Uh, now we have the book of Boba Fett. Terrible. Only two great episodes in this show, by the way. I did. I and I did like the second episode and the I guess the first episode. But these, but these two episodes, these later two episodes, like you know, kind of dim it, like like make those other episodes just like even worse because they're so good in so many ways and in, in so many better ways. It's like it's just overwhelm. It's just like. It just doesn't. It, you just can't like look at the other episodes anymore. It's like you only can watch these two because they're that good and so much better. And and they don't even have um, Boba Fett in them either. Um, he's in the second ep He's in that second um, episode, but for like a minute. He has a cameo in his own show, I guess. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about the book of Boba Fett of uh, besides how disappointing it is. I like the concept that they go for, like. They should go through some backstory, like you see him, um, you know, come out of like the Sarlacc pit, and you know, and you see what what he was going through, um, at that time. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice, by the way, guys. I've been, you know, doing reviews all day. Um, but yeah, it's like you, he's, uh, he's like, you know, you see his struggle, and you know, you learn certain things about him. He joins like this Tustin Ra uh, Tustin Raiders. I, I can't speak, um, tribe, and so you see, like, the transformation that he goes through, and it's, like, really cool stuff, and I was like, I like that, let's just stay here, whatever you're doing in the future, fuck that, because he becomes a like, whiny little brat in the future, and just comes out like a pushover, and lets everyone do whatever uh, they want to him, that's, that, that's gonna be taken out of context, but th my point is that this is, the book, the Boba Fett that we, we focus on, like, in the future, is not the Boba Fett that we wanted. Like, I, can, I understand what they were going for, but the, but the execution was just terrible. The execution was awful. And a lot of people blame the director. Yes, the director has some faults to it, like with the cyberpunk kids um, in the show. Um, but over, I, I, I think it's both. I think it's the writing and the directing. Uh, Dave Filoni and uh, John Favreau, they wrote um, they wrote basically every episode. They went kind of back and forth with each other. Um, I blame them for the writing. Like they they they're the ones that wrote the show. They're the ones that wrote what happens. So it's mostly their fault. And people are, I know people are that really like the show is going to bash down on me and like all of that. I already know that's coming. But again, it's kind of my opinion, and I'm not I'm not hating on you guys for like liking the show. If you like it, great, good for you. I'm glad that you had an enjoyment. But for me, I want I want I expected more from a great character, and that's why I gave those first two episodes like you know a little easy break. Like I didn't I like I don't think they're great or anything, but I did enjoy them. But over time, I expected there to be an arc. I expected there to be something to be like, all right, this isn't working out. Fuck it, let's go and kill everyone. But there's not a fucking moment in the show about of that at all. It's literally, it's Boba is literally the same fucking character throughout the whole entire show, and he gets screwed over so many times because he wants respect from everyone. He's like, if you, if all I care about is your respect, he turned into fucking Vin Diesel from fucking Fast and the Furious. It's fucking Dom. This is Dom De Dom Toretto. This is not fucking Boba Fett. And clearly, that this like motive that he has isn't working, and it, and not and and people are like, maybe maybe we should go a little bit more tougher, or like, uh, and but he's like, no, 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 no. They will keep the promise, and and they will, um, you know, 
keep the respect. And it's like, no, 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 you're stupid. And like, he literally is like, and, and he wants to work on his own because he's like, I'm sick of working for idiots. I don't know why I'm doing an Arnold Boris. Um, but like, and ex but he, then he's doing stupid stuff by look, putting his fucking ship, the Slave 1, into the f face of the Sarlacc pit to look for his armor, which isn't in there because we know, like, like we know, but I, he doesn't know for some reason, even though he was awake and people are saying memory loss when he lost, uh, you know, when he lost, it's like, fuck off. Not once in this show that he had like amnesia or whatever, or like not once was it it's like, oh yeah, I don't remember anything to up this point. I don't remember how I got here or what. He, he knows for a fact that his armor isn't in there. All, all it was it for was just to get this cool shot and this stupid, it's a cool shot. Don't get me wrong. It's a cool shot to see the Slave One do this, but it's stupid. The fucking reasoning is stupid. And and Boba Fett is such a smart character. He's he the the Boba Fett from you know Return of the Jedi wouldn't be that stupid enough to put his fucking full on ship into the mouth of a Sarlacc pit, even though he thinks if it's dead, even though, because he's not gonna take that possibility. And it almost rips it. It almost rips the ship apart. And uh, Finnick has to save him, which she's the best part about the show. She has to save him, and you know she pushes the button, and, and you know this, you know explosion happens, and all that. And it's like, and he goes like, "Don't touch my buttons." And it's like, "Bitch, I saved you. <laughs> like, I saved you. You, I, I, don't, I hate this show. I really do. But I can't. I would give the show an F." But because of these two great episodes that don't have them in it, and that I, you can tell that Filoni and uh, Filoni and John really just like really wanted to do those two episodes, and they focus. Well, it, it was written by them, but it was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard, which was the first version of that episode, which was just great. Which it's I'm gonna tell you, it's episode five and six. Go watch those. Um, because you're gonna need to watch those to understand what's gonna come for the next series, um, but yeah, I just really, I, re I don't know what they were thinking. I think that this was just like, oh, uh, we brought um, Boba Fett back. Um, probably should do a show just to make those people happy, um, because they literally don't have anything to do with him, and it sucks to see this character be treated this way. Like, yes, there's cool moments in this show, but that's not good enough. It isn't good enough. I give the Book of Boba Fett um, and D minus. I really don't like this show. I will. I don't recommend it. All I do recommend is episode five and six. It's the only. Those are the only ones that you have to watch. Um, but yeah, I I really don't recommend it if you guys were looking forward to watching it. I mean, go watch it if you really want to. But for me, I don't recommend it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the book of Boba Fett down below. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.